गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्रीज मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वर्ड मींस टू मेक इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज एंड एट लास्ट वी विल डिस्कस शुगर इंडस्ट्री लेट स्टार्ट विद इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज इंडस्ट्रीज हेल्प इन मॉडर्नाइजिंग एग्रीकल्चर as we know most of the people are living in rural areas and their primary occupation is agriculture and nowadays modern machines are used in agriculture sector and industries are helping in providing modern machines to agriculture sector industries are manufacturing or industries are making modern machines which are used in agriculture sector next industries also reduces the heavy dependence of people on agricultural income as we know there are three important economic sector primary secondary and tertiary sector agriculture is an example of primary sector so as more and more people are working in agriculture in primary sector so more and more people are engaged in agriculture sector and we know there is a problem disguised unemployment as most of the farmers are having small piece of land and so many people are working on a small piece of land that is not required actually but due to the establishment of more and more industries now people are diverting toward industries so as a result they are getting job and the problems like unemployment and poverty is solved so these two problems are reducing next it also aims at bringing down regional differences by establishing industries in backward areas so now industries are coming up in remote areas as well as we can say the industries are now coming up in backward areas also and due to the establishment of industries in backward area the social economic condition of that particular area is improved industries are manufacturing so many final goods that we are selling even in foreign market also and that increases the economy of the country next is classification of industries industries are classified on the basis of raw material main role capital investment ownership bulk and weight of raw material and finished good so we'll discuss all these type in the next slide on the basis of strength of labor first is large scale industry industries which in which large number of laborers are employed is known as large scale industries example cotton or jute textile medium scale industries are those industry in which neither very large nor very small number of laborers are employed cycle industry radio television industry is the example of medium scale industry small scale industries are those industry in which small number of laborers or workers are employed on the basis of raw material and finished good there are two types heavy industries are those industries in which heavy and bulky raw material are used to produce the final products for example iron and steel industry next is light industry light industries are those industry in which light raw material is used to convert the raw material into finished good for example electric fans or we can say cotton textile industry is the example of light industry because cotton textile industry need cotton ball as a raw material and which is very light in weight on the basis of ownership there are four types of industry private sector industries are those industries which are run by private individual for example Tata Iron and Steel Company located at Jamshedpur Public sector industries are totally controlled by government For example Bharat Heavy Electrical Limited Bhillai Steel Plant Joint sector industries are controlled by private individual as well as government We can say it's a joint venture 
and jointly owned jointly by private and government for example oil oil india limited cooperative sector industries are those industry which are run by group of people for example sugar industry on the basis of source of raw material first is agro based industry agro based industries are those industries which depend on raw material from agriculture or we can say which depend on agriculture for their raw material cotton textile jute textile next is mineral based industries are those industries which depend on mineral for their raw material iron and steel aluminium industry pastoral based industries these industries depend upon animals for their raw material forest based industries are those industries which depend on forest for their raw material paper cardboard furniture these are the examples now let's start with the next topic that is sugar industry as we know sugar is the most important agro based industry and sugar cane is the raw material for this industry importance of the sugar industry as there are so many industries are there in india but maximum production is coming from sugar industry increases the economy of the country provide employment to the number of people as a result the social economic condition of the country will be improved when we extract juice from the sugar cane so we convert that juice we convert juice into sugar by different processes and while extracting juice some leftover part are there some by products will get molasses dark brown syrup which is used for making alcohol bagasse when we extract juice from the sugar cane white crush part we get which is used for making cardboard paper press mud is also important by product of sugar when we used to extract juice we get sticky substance which is used for making shoe polish carbon paper etc distribution uttar pradesh maharashtra tamil nadu bihar these are the major producers of sugar now what are the reasons that most of the sugar industries are located in uttar pradesh and bihar the very first point is due to the presence of fertile alluvial soil and better climatic conditions so due to favorable geographical conditions like fertile alluvial soil heavy rainfall and better temperature due to this the availability of raw material will be more for this industry next is coal is the main source of power as we know that every industry needs power to run so in the same way sugar industry need coal coal is the main source of power to run the industry which is available from nearby areas and we know this these two states uttar pradesh and bihar these are densely populated states so it will be easy for the availability of cheap labor from these areas these two states are well connected with roads railways which is helpful in the transportation of good goods from one region to the another region difference between sugar industry of northern and peninsular india like why the production of sugar is more in peninsular india due to the favorable geographical condition like 80 to 100 cm rainfall well drained red loamy soil temperature above 25 degree celsius is found in india which is favorable for better production sugar cooperatives are well managed in south india now from the very first point we can say due to the availability of raw material more availability of raw material for this industry due to the favorable geographical condition second is as the farmer they used to grow sugar cane in a cooperative manner cooperative farming that is 
well planned or well managed in south india so people work together in agriculture field so as a result production is high if the production will be more so the industry will get more raw material so they will convert that raw material into finished good as a result they will get more production so even not only the agriculture is uh, done in cooperative manner even the industry sugar industry is also these are the example you know co there we have discussed in the previous slide that cooperative industry is that industry which is run by group of people and sugar industry is one of the example so even sugar industries which are located in southern india so in that particular area in southern india people are working together in these industries so if they are working together in a cooperative manner as a result the sugar production is also high long crushing time is in south favors sugar cane planters so again we can say in south the temperature is same throughout the year due to the presence of water body so we can say the favorable geographical condition that is available in all months so because of favorable geographical condition the sugar cane is sugar cane production is more in southern india if the raw material is more available definitely the production of finished good will be more problems of sugar industry now as we know in india most of the sugar cane production or total sugar cane production is diverted or utilized for making good country so as a result industry gets very less raw material for making sugar because most of the sugar cane are utilized for making good and country and very less raw material is available for making sugar and the mills which are located in india majority of the mill most of the mills are old old machines are used next sugar factories also face problem in disposing of the by products and when the sugar cane converted into sugar so while converting sugar cane into sugar the leftover part that is bagasse molasses pressed mud these are not fully utilized and these are disposed of and the last is low yield of sugar cane so we can say the production of sugar cane is less we can say due to the you know uh, poor agricultural methods inferior quality of seeds are used in most part of india so better quality seeds are not used modern machines are not used most of the farmers are illiterate they don't know the better technology so these are the problems faced by sugar industry Thank you students have a nice